What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. It's 16 degrees out and we're gonna empty some storage units. But first, I gotta fix this trailer. So this came off in a store and since then I've lost a bunch of screws, but look how stripped out. These look like they used to be torque screws. They're very stripped out. So I'm gonna go buy some new screws, but I've got kind of on there. It should hold up as long as we don't put weight on it or anything, but let's get this fixed and we'll empty out some units. At the Home Depot, just got some screws and we are all fixed. Good as new. I flipped it over because I didn't want to reuse these holes that it ripped out of. So problem, I bought this unit a while ago and in my notes I have it as unit seven. Every single building has a unit seven. So I guess we're going to every single unit seven to see if, and the other thing is I've just got a handful of keys I don't even know which one it goes to. So I'm gonna go to every single unit seven. There are probably a good 20 unit sevens here. And uh, every single one, I'm gonna try about eight keys. Yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. All right, I found it. It is C7. You might remember this unit. I bought it a little while ago and I showed it when I bought it. Uh, the one thing that might help you remember are these brand new Clark shoes. Now I paid 35 bucks for this unit. And I remember looking these up and these will sell for more than 35 on eBay. We've also got some clothes racks here, a ton of retail fixtures. We've got someone's head. Looks like it's on a lamp stand. Uh, some cheap mannequins and Lord only knows what else. Uh, this Fisher Price, I think it's an airport if I remember right, wood hangers. Table collapsed, but I think it should be fine. Um, I'm excited to see what I can find in here. It looks like uh, it was a retail store that closed down, maybe a thrift store or something. Oh, here's another Fisher Price thing. So we'll see. There's a ton of clothes racks. So this is what it looks like now. I'm not gonna do a full breakdown of everything in this unit because, well, frankly, that's exhausting, but it looks like we're gonna find some decent vintage toys in here. I'll show you some of the highlights. There's a Fisher Price airplane there. I think we're gonna find some neat stuff in here. Uh, a ton of clothes racks. We'll see if we can sell them. Otherwise, it might even be worth me keeping them. All right, I'm gonna climb over all of this stuff. And, uh, oh, looks like a vintage Fisher Price Little People bar in there. There might be a duck decoy underneath it, some hat boxes. I'm excited to go through this one, see what we find. Is this there's a loft up there and there's stuff on it I don't know if there's gonna be I might whatever's up there just leave it because I doubt there's anything important up there and uh, I have no interest in climbing up there to try and get to it it also looks like it was poorly constructed so I'm not gonna put any weight on it if I were to guess this might have been a previous tenant here's an old hat box oh we got some vintage hats there might be some money in here on eBay I don't know what's up there though. All right, I'm expecting a lot of cool vintage stuff in here. So let's start digging. All right, so we got about half of it cleared out. I think I can get the rest of it in one trip. This table, it's a little worse than I thought. I'm just gonna throw that out. Legs are bent, frame is bent. It's completely separated. Um, that mannequin should go for some okay money. Look at this though, box is full of Lego. Um, trailer is like, packed full. There was a broken lamp. I don't know if I broke that when I looked through it or if it was already broken. This unit is going to be phenomenal. Remember, I paid 35 bucks for it. We got the back pretty cleared out. I paid 35 bucks for it. This used to be a vintage apparel boutique. From what I gather, they closed in 2017. Uh, so they closed about two years before I bought the unit and uh, a little over two years ago. Um, they uh, must have had a bunch of stuff left over. It sounds like they closed rather abruptly because some of the comments on, the, uh, on their Facebook page, which still exists, says something like, how do I get my consigned items back now that you already closed? Or how do I get a check for stuff you sold for me? Uh, I don't know if they responded to these people or not. They didn't publicly, but who knows? There's those Clarks, there's like an antique scale here. Uh, but a ton of boxes of vintage apparel. I don't know if it's worth anything, you know, stuff like this. Uh, I don't know if it's worth anything. However, 
There is a client of mine who just opened a vintage apparel shop, and I'm gonna try and offload a lot of this to her. Um, but we've got, you know, mannequins, and the only decent mannequin was this one here. It's actually a pretty decent one. It's a little yellowed, but it's a pretty good one. It's uh, well built. The other ones are, you know, the cheap plastic lightweight ones. Um, you know, we got like some antique folding chairs. Looks like a bread box, a kettle. Um, what else? Is an air hockey set up boxes of stuff here i hauled out a ton like that trailer i'll show you in a minute when i get back to the warehouse what the trailer looks like but there is uh, most of the good stuff is already hauled out i think i'm gonna do really well there's got to be 50 or 60 antique hats in there at least you know stuff like these um all in decent shape too I'm trying to remember what else i hauled in there i was trying to rush because it is frigid outside um, but we got some good stuff. I, I think I'll probably make a few thousand dollars on this unit, especially if that clothing turns out to be worth selling on eBay or if that shop spends a decent amount on it. What's this? I don't know why this intrigued me. Oh, this box is not good to open with one hand. Uh, just seasonings. Well, that's no fun. There was uh, some of her personal stuff in here too, it looks like. But a lot of the boxes of clothing looked like vintage stuff. Uh, there was an antique couch. It does need to be reupholstered, but I feel like that would sell. Uh, that's already on the trailer. Ton of vintage toys. I, it seems like she just specialized in vintage apparel. So I don't know if she started bringing in toys or why there's a bunch of vintage toys in here. Uh, sunglasses, I don't know if these were hers, if they're old. They don't feel old, but you never know. This was worth every penny of 35 bucks, so I'm really excited to get through it. Which is probably a good thing because I bought it August 31st. Uh, the storage facility here, they're good enough to me since I bought. If you remember, I bought like nine storage units that day. I spent like, I don't know, three grand. Uh, so they give me like a month to get this stuff cleared out. So I got the month of September paid for, but I did have to pay for October. November, December, and uh, they'll probably prorate me for the first two weeks of January. So it's three and a half months at, I think like 80 bucks a month for this unit, plus my $35 purchase price. But my thought process on that was, you know, we, all, we have a ton of stuff coming in. I'll buy these. That way, if I don't have stuff coming in, we can still go get it. And, uh, you know, they, August 31st was their last storage auction here. They have not been a lot lately. However, I've seen a lot of these, and uh, I talked to the owner of these properties. He said they'll be having another big auction in about a month or so. So I really want to get these cleaned out. But my thought process is I might not have inventory coming in and have a lull. Remember, I still have rent to pay. I've got employees to pay. So I'll happily just pay to sit on this stuff, buy a bunch of units and sit on them. And when I do have a gap where there's nothing coming in, that's when we tackle these units. And that's kind of where we're at right now. So anyways, let's go get this unloaded. So I think I forgot to show you what it looks like, but this unit, I think it's gonna be so good that I'm gonna do a full unboxing. Uh, I am dropping off a couple of things in the dumpster. I actually, if you remember, I'm so far behind on videos at this point, but there was a video a while ago that actually took place a couple days ago. Uh, uploaded that one on time. It was, oh, my ankle hurts for some reason. It was uh, a storage unit with tools and stuff. A ton of tools. There's a toolbox in it. Anyways, there was also a mattress in it. And uh, I posted it on Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks. Someone asked if they could have it for free. And I said, if you can pick it up right now, you can have it for free. And they picked it up. So I got rid of that. That's what I do with mattresses. As long as they're not absolutely disgusting, um, I will post them for like 10 or 20 bucks. I find that if you post them for free, they sit forever. But if you post them for 20 bucks, they won't sell. It's psychological. People think if it's free, there's something wrong with it. But if they're selling it, then they can't. it's just a good deal. So I'll post it for 20 bucks. I will take any offer. If someone's iffy about it, I said, tell you what, I just want it gone. Come get it. It's free. Uh, that'll usually change people's minds. But anyways, that was gone in a matter of maybe an hour after I unloaded it from the trailer. Happy about that. Let's get this trash dumped and get back to the unit. Trailer is now full. A lot of those, uh, I counted eight 
uh, H racks, which are the closed racks with two rails. The unit is all emptied out. We swept it out. We're good to go. So uh, let's get this unloaded and I'll show you what we found. Also, I'm really upset with myself. Oh, let's see if I can find it on the camera here. I snagged my brand new down jacket. This is a really nice one too. I've got no one to blame but myself. I've been saying basically since I got this jacket that I cannot wear this to work and uh, like to do labor. And here I am wearing it to empty out storage units. It's so warm though and it's comfy and it's, I really don't have a work jacket. So I am going to contact Columbia. Some brands do have a warranty program or even if you damage it yourself, they'll replace it for you. So I'm going to contact them and see if they'll replace it. If not, then I will, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the jacket then, but I'll go buy a new one. I spent uh, like 150 bucks on it, so it wasn't too, too bad, at least for a jacket, but still, it's not fun. Uh, but I'm also going to go and get one of those denim, like Carhartt type jackets, because I really need something that's warm that I can work in when I'm doing storage units. So I don't do this again. So the snow's starting. We're supposed to get a pretty good blizzard uh, overnight. Came a little early. Trying to get this empty out as quickly as possible. Uh, but if the snow gets too bad, I'm gonna have to just leave the rest in the trailer because this gets very slippery when it gets snowy. Holy crap, is it slippery out. I just emptied a bunch of stuff in the dumpster and I swear every single step my foot slid. I can't believe I didn't go down. We've got uh, probably a good half an inch, three quarters of an inch on the ground now. It's been about half an hour since it started snowing. There, I don't know if there's ice underneath the snow over there by the dumpster or what, but wow, it is slick. All right, trailer's moved, car is moved, so they can plow tomorrow. So anyways, unit's empty. You can see some of it right there and some of it, uh, uh, I don't know where to put my head, over there somewhere. Um, trailer is also empty, although it's getting a little dicey towards the end, but um, I'm going home. I'll show you uh, what's in there next. Well, that didn't work out so well. We've got like six or eight inches of snow on the ground. I spent the morning digging out my driveway. Apparently this truck doesn't want to do donuts in four wheel drive. It doesn't want to move in two wheel drive. <laughs> I tried. All right, so let's go through the storage unit. So we've got everything stacked up on shelves here and here as well as some large stuff sorted elsewhere. First, we've got this old ugly suitcase to my Goodwill pile right here, except for the box. Uh, so there, there's that. We've got some skis, probably not really worth anything. Hockey sticks, same thing, but we'll probably get, I don't know, a couple bucks for them. And then this looks like a shelf with uh, a nice edge. It's upside down, by the way. We've got a ton of wooden hangers. I should be able to sell these. Um, this isn't all of them. There are more throughout the boxes. So here we've got this little ottoman upholstered on the vintage couch. And we'll go through that box in a little bit. And we've got a ton of these clothes racks. They're just kind of thrown in here because, well, it was snowing when I unloaded. We've also got this wooden clothes rack and I did see the thing that goes across the actual bar. I don't know if this can get put back together or not. Only one way to find out though. You got a couple of antique folding chairs. Uh, that's probably just the owner's name. And there's the stamp. Oh, made right here in Wisconsin. These are kind of neat, actually. Over here, we've got this wicker shelf. I need to fix the shelves. They're just not on there. They're adjust or not adjustable shelves, but they just kind of sit on there. The person put them on backwards. This should be the back of the shelf. So it should look like this, where that goes into there. And we've got this console stereo here. It's kind of neat looking. I like it, and then the top that closes up and then over here we've got let's see this the other shelf is unstacked with the stuff we've got three bookshelves this is two of them one of them you'll see in a little bit um covered full of stuff uh not going to get a lot for those we've got this antique crate it's been painted but it's kind of neat i feel like that would sell and then we've got this uh cedar chest here it does include the key. Usually the key's missing, but there's a crack on that piece. If you were to, it wouldn't be too hard to fix, shove some glue in there and clamp it together, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna sell it as is. By the way, if you saw the video of the tool unit, the one that had that toolbox, there's, uh, this is the 
headboard, the bed frame that came with it. You remember this guy? Uh, and it looks like it used to be an antique lamp that was converted into a mannequin head. By the way, my jacket, is this arm? Um, yeah, it's just a tiny little, let's see if we can get that to focus, tiny little pinhole. I did look up on their website. They do have a warranty, but they'll only fix it if it's their own uh, you know, manufacturing defect, which it is not. I'm gonna try and melt that and uh, see if we can close that up. Not sure how well that'll work. So let's start going through this stuff. What is, is this? Oh, we've got three bar stools here. I thought that was part of it. So three bar stools, let's start with that. Here they are, they exist. That's what they look like. We've got a pretty nice mannequin here. It's got two arms. One of them, the fingers are broken off. I might keep this, but just not use the arms. I haven't decided. The stand looks like it hooks into there, unless there's a hole on the bottom which there is not. So somehow the stand hooks into this. I don't know what that would be. I thought this was the stand, but this, unless something comes out of there, I'm not sure. I'm gonna look at the stores. I found the store's Facebook page. I'm gonna see if there's any pictures of the mannequin and figure out what it what it sits on. So I found a picture. It is on this, this is the stand for the mannequin. So I just need to figure out what attaches to here to hook into there. I'm not sure what it would be, but we'll see if we can find something in the unit. Everything else for it was in there, so it's got to be in there. Already showed you this. It's a brand new pair of Clark's shoes. So we'll get these on eBay. We've got another brand new pair of shoes here. They're called Fly. I'm not sure if they're worth anything. Oops, that fell out. But uh, we'll look them up on eBay and get them listed if they are. We've got this probably Fisher Price is Firehouse. Looks like it's seen better days though. Let's see if there's a date somewhere on it. I don't know. It is Fisher Price. Well, anyways, we've got that. We've also got this, and I already showed you this, vintage scale. So make a good shipping scale. Here, how much does my phone weigh? My phone weighs about a little under half a pound. So, probably get a couple bucks for this. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I can get 30 or 40 for it. It's pretty neat. And this is not something I expected to find in storage unit full of antiques and vintage items. It looks like games and movies. So, let's see what we've got. All right. Looks like the games are all going to be Xbox 360. Not a huge value in most Xbox 360 games, but there might be something here. I think one of these Spider-Man games are actually worth something. So right now I'm just gonna separate games and movies for you. Well, that was a huge bummer. Every single one of these is empty. However, I did find a digital code for The Dark Knight Rises. Um, oh, redeemed by 2014. Well, I was gonna give this to you guys if anyone wants it, but I don't know, maybe it'll work. Probably not if it is redeemed by 2014. But uh, anyways, so what I'm gonna do is throw most of these away. But some of these two-disc Xbox 360 cases I'm going to keep uh, in case I ever get a game that needs a replacement case. Uh, most of these, I've got a million of them already, so there's no sense keeping extras. So that's the plan here. And we added a few to my empty game case collection. They're always, they always come in handy if I need a case for a game. So I found some games in another case. This one is complete. This one, Call of Duty Ghosts, is just the install disc, but there is this game and both discs for Halo 4. I'm pretty sure it's only two discs. And then a red box movie, uh, just with the condition. I'm just gonna throw that out. But uh, I'm gonna dig and see if I toss the case for this and this. Um, if not, I've got a two disc thing and throw the Halo games in here and grab another one for that game. So I threw the Star Wars game in a generic empty case. I did have the cover art for this one. So I put it in that Call of Duty case since it's already out here. So I've got both discs to Halo 4 here. I'm gonna throw this game away just because it's the install disc only. Maybe I'll find the uh, the other disc and be able to sell it. But as of now, it's just the install disc. So I plan on throwing it away if I don't find the other part. So here's what we got for hats so far. Some are vintage, some aren't. Like this one, I don't think is vintage. Uh, and then she had a price at $11. Uh, we got a couple of 
fur hats. Don't know if they're real fur or not. Some straw hats, all different stuff. This is a pretty cool hat box, though. I like that. I think we can get a few bucks for this one for someone who'll use it for decorating. Put it on the stack of hat boxes. So I just went through the stuff on this shelf. We've got a couple of board games here. These are three nesting canisters. This scarf, I guess, is new. Where's the tag? It doesn't have a price on it, but it's uh, from Earthbound Trading Company. I believe they're a pricier store in the mall. Um, and then this looks like a knife box. BTI tools, let's see what it is. Ooh. Let's see, Gerber is the brand. It's a fancy looking knife. What else is in here? Uh, I guess a belt clip maybe. Yeah, this I bet is worth uh, quite a few bucks here. Let's see if I can get this open. these are for I'm not sure what those little switches are for um, but I bet I could get 10 to 20 bucks for this it's in the box might even be new so I decided to go home it was Saturday I didn't feel like uh, working anymore on the weekend so it is now Monday morning at 6.39. I need to get this done before employees start coming in at 8. So I've got like an hour. So I'm not going to be filming too much of this. I'll show you some highlights. And right after I said that, I opened a box. I had a hat box I was going to throw on the stack there. But it felt like there was something in it. So I opened it. I'm like, okay. We got some neat vintage hats here. Packers hat. Maybe I can get a couple bucks for it. Oh, that's a Reggie White autograph. This will probably sell for at least a hundred bucks. It's signed to someone pretty likely real, uh, given the fact that it's signed to someone. Uh, this is going to be a, a nice little sale.